Hello everybody, what rocks? You know what rocks? Pablo Picasso rocks. And he's a very inspirational part. Well, I guess he's inspired me in a lot of ways, even when I paint things that are not considered or inspired by his work, but he's inspired a lot of other people and he was such a great artist and he was had different several movements that are very um, important in art history like the blue period after the blue period he went to the rose period which was more about um, circus figures and things like that and after that he co-founded the movement cubism along with George's Brock but just a little bit of backtrack a little bit Pablo Picasso was born on the 25th of October in 1881 and then he died on 8 April 1973 and he was a very famous Spanish painter and what you see here is a Cubist painting that I made inspired by Pablo Picasso and the whole Cubist movement that was that started in 1907 and a lot of people believe like the painting that defined the that moment where Cubism actually you know started was in Pablo Picasso painting uh, Les Demoiselles de Avignon, I don't know how to say that French word, but in Spanish, Las Señoritas de Avignon, and that's when the element of Cubism first, you know, got started. But like I said, it was started with Georges Braque, and what Cubist was kind of like breaking up whatever you're painting a house or a person, and then painting that thing, like breaking. Let's say you grab a picture and you you know, cut it into different pieces and then you rearrange them. That's kind of like the concept of cubism. But there was two different types of cubism. There was analytical cubism, and which is this one. Analytical cubism is when you analyze, like, for instance, this woman, and you paint or you distort, you know, different parts of her face or things like that. Um, then there was synthetic cubism, and synthetic cubism is basically the same thing, except now you're adding other materials, kind of like uh, a collage. And anyway, like I said, cubism is about, you know, portraying things in a different way, analyzing them and showing you sides of them that, you know, haven't been seen before. Like, this actually is not as uh, cubist, but it's distorted enough to where it does fit the mold. And actually, this is a um, Dormar, someone who Picasso painted a lot. So this is my version, and I gave her blonde hair because, you know, Girls have more fun when they have blonde hair. Isn't that what they say? <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to share with you a little bit about what cubism is, when it started, how it started. Um, researched paintings by Pablo Picasso, the cubist ones. Other artists who did them were um, Juan Gris and Paul Zezan. But my favorite out of all of them is, of course, Pablo Picasso. Um, my favorite painting by him, which is Guernica, also is done in a cubist style. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and let me know what other artists you'd like to learn about, what style of art you'd like, want to learn about on the comment section. Until next time. Oh, one more thing. The reason I'm wearing this shirt is because Pablo Picasso was uh, kind of started this trend, so he even influenced fashion, so he wore these striped like kind of sailor shirts and after that even uh, Andy Warhol, you know, copied his style. So I guess I'm copying Picasso's style too. Uh, that's it. Till next time.